Now we're going to look at expanding brackets. Now most of you should already know anyway that expanding brackets, multiplying out brackets, rewriting without the brackets, or write without the brackets, all means the same thing. When you've got something like this, we need to rewrite it without the brackets. And a sentence you should always remember, multiply everything that's outside the bracket by whatever's inside the bracket. So I've got a four outside the bracket, I need to multiply my four by my x, and then four by my y. So four lots of x will give me four x. Then four times my y will give me four y. And it's a positive because that's actually a positive. It's a positive y. I don't just put a plus there because there's one there, because you can have ones that's negative. It could have been a negative four, or it could have been a negative y, and it would have had problems and complications with negatives and positives. But at the moment, it's quite simple, just a positive four y. Do the next one. Again, multiply everything that's outside the bracket by what's inside. So three times two x, three times two is six, it's gonna give me six x. And it's a three times a positive y, will give me a positive 3y. Taking it a little further, 4 times with 3x will give me 12x. Now, I'm going to make an error on this next one, and I bet everybody's done it. I'm going to write plus 6y. I'll bet everybody's done that. What have I done wrong? Instead of multiplying those two, I've added those two. And that's something we all do by mistake. The examiner's not going to give us a mark just because we've got one part of it right. So remember, it's multiplying both of them. So we're now interested in that. So let's rewrite it. 12x plus 4 times 2 is 8y. Simple error, but we've lost the mark. So let's really think about it. Carry it through the multiplications each time. Now taking it a step further, if we've actually got just letters, this seems to confuse people when we take away our numbers. But it doesn't make any difference. X times X. If you multiply something by itself, it's going to be itself squared. There won't be a, an overall result. There won't be anything numerical there, so it's just X times X gives me x squared. Now x times a positive y, x times y, will just give me plus xy. Next one. Introduce some numbers into it. But again, remembering what we've just done there and what we did above, multiplying throughout. 3x times x. Well, we know straight away it's going to have a 3 involved. Think about this bit, like we did above. x times x is going to be x squared. But it's three lots of x, so it's going to be 3x squared. Look at the next one. Three times positive 2y. But there's an x involved. Three times 2 is going to give me 6. And it's going to be a positive 6, because there's a positive there. x times y. xy. Great C question and you can all access it using this simple strategy. And again, like I'm doing, writing all over my paper, you do it. It'll help you get through. And the examiner also knows you know what you're doing.